How do you organize Python code into folders? In this video, we're going to take this project, which is getting bigger and bigger, and organize it a little bit better so that in future videos, we can come in and um, add more features and stuff. Let's get started. We have VS Code open. To get started, let's make a new folder called SRC. We're just going to put all of our code inside of SRC. Uh, SRC sort for source. We'll come in here and we'll do new folder and we'll create a folder called core. And we'll probably create another one called component uh, components. And this is up to you how you want to structure it. I think uh, core is going to be like sort of core parts of the game, like the input and map. And, and then components are going to be like individual things that you can have on different uh, entities, I, I guess. This is how we'll or I'm thinking we organize this, but you can kind of organize it however you want. In VS Code, if you move each one of these individually, it'll make the changes for you. Check this out. If I come in here and I move camera, we move it to core. And then we come in here and we move uh, entity to components. And then move input to core. We'll keep main here. Uh, and we'll do map to um, core. We'll do physics to components. And let's do sprite to components, player to components, and actually move map to your source folder. And then check this out. If everything worked, VS Code, if you did it one by one, it actually refactors it for you and it changes your code as you're doing that. Um, another great editor too as well for this is uh, PyCharm, which can do a lot of this uh, refactoring for you. Go up to the top and let's go ahead and run this just to make sure everything uh, worked correctly. And it does. There we go. Let me show you what changed. So let's go ahead and close this. And uh, what changed is basically the f now, if you take a look at all these imports, it does the folder name first, dot, and then the file name itself. And you can have multiple of these. Um, if you're doing this manually or you're doing this with a text editor, uh, you just basically have to put the folder name uh, inside that you're using and then the name of the file. Let's look a little bit deeper. I'm going to take a look at the entity class, or let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the player class. So even the player class, like sprite, for example, is in the same folder as player. Even then, it still has the components dot sprite. So just specify where it is relative to the uh, main.py file, like where you're actually running it from. Um, and that's basically it for that. Now, if, if you uh, run into any issues, check each one of your uh, imports. So I'm going to just manually do that here real quick. I'm just going to make it so that this one breaks. And then if we come in here and we do main, take a look at it. It'll say no module named camera take a look at the previous one. It'll tell you player.py line four. In fact, you can even just click in VS Code and I'll tell you, and it'll go right to where you need to go. And in VS Code, it'll even highlight this for you. So you can say, oh, okay, where is the camera file? So then I want you to look for it and we find it in core. So we'll come in here, we'll do uh, core dot camera, and then you're done. There we go. Um, that's actually basically it for moving these. Uh, but one trick or one just kind of thing I want to mention here about this, I know that this is kind of short, but um, if you move multiple at the same time, then VS Code, kind of, at least currently, it gets uh, kind of tricked uh, a little bit and it doesn't actually do this for you. So just move each one of the files individually. The last thing I want to show you real quick is uh, we're going to also change these two as well. So the images and maps folder are kind of just here. And maybe we can kind of improve this a little bit because maybe we have different assets we're going to add. Let's go up to uh, let's add a new folder. Um, this part has really not much to do with Python from this point. So if that's what you're looking for, the rest of this video will be about uh, like loading files and importing them from a specific location. Um, so if that's thank you for watching. Otherwise, let's go into this and we'll come in and we'll do content and then uh, drag the images folder into there and then drag maps into content. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we've got now we have this nice content folder. Let's come in and we're going to make a couple modifications to our sprite class and our map class to load those. So go into core and map 
And up at the top, what we're going to do is we're going to say map folder location equals, and then we'll come in here and we'll say content slash maps. And check this out. This is actually, uh, this is going to make things a little bit easier as we kind of go here. Go down to the map file and we'll come in here and we'll say map folder location plus quotes plus. So when we load the map, now we can just specify the file. We don't actually have to specify the uh, folder or anything. If you jump into main.py, now that we did this, you can now come in where you're loading the map uh, right here, and you can just get rid of this map slash part, which is gonna make it a lot easier later on. You can just literally put the name of the map file you wanna load, and it'll go into this folder and load that. Let's also do that for our sprites as well. Um, so we'll come into components, we'll do sprite, and let's come in here and we'll say image folder location equals, and then we'll say content slash images. Then what we can do here is when we load the image here, we can come in here and we can say image folder location plus quotes, and then that. I have word wrap on, let me, uh, let me hide it so you can kind of see. That's the full uh, code right there. So we did the folder location, we're going to put a slash in front of it, and then uh, image. Perfect. And then let's go to main.py. And anywhere that you're loading images, we're going to get to the tile kinds in a second. Just get rid of uh, images slash everywhere. You can also do a replace and just uh, go and do that. This will just make things nice and easy. Now when you're loading a sprite, you can just be like, hey, load the tree.png. And it knows to go into this uh, folder here and look at that. Final thing that we're going to do is we need to do the same thing for the map. So let's come in here up at the top and we'll do image folder location. We'll do a separate one for the map um, just because we may want to put tiles in a different folder or whatever. doesn't matter. Let's just do the same thing for this one as well. Uh, and then from here, what we're going to do is right where we have this pygame.image.load, pygame we're going to come in here and say image folder location plus quotes. And then there we go. And then if everything works correctly, we'll go ahead and test it. Let's come up here to the run button and we'll run it. And there we go. And everything works correctly. And, you know, it works the same, but now our code is way more organized. So if we take a look at what we did, we now have basically everything inside of either the content folder, which is kind of like content for your game, like images and stuff and the source folder, which now we can kind of see, okay, this is the core parts of our game. This is the components. Uh, and that's it. That's all that I have for this video. So um, while this was, you know, a small video uh, for this, this was a necessary step for kind of uh, organizing our code and adding things later. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll uh, see you in the next video.